In previous part of this tutorial, we imported geometry from GrabCAD and created geometry groups. And in this part of the tutorial, we are going to create computational mesh. So we will choose mesh module in Salome, choose partition that we created before, and click on create mesh button. So here for algorithm, I will select Nijin 1D, 2D, 3D, and for hypothesis, I will select the first one, Nijin 3D parameters. For maximum size of any element within this mesh, I will set 50 millimeters, and for minimum size, you can safely use zero. Here, at local sizes, you can specify additional requirements for mesh builder. As I told before, we created this geometry uh, group for surface in Dr. BC, specifically for mesh generator. Now I will click on it and click on face button. For value, I will set 4. So it means that on the surface in Dr. BC, there will be no element that will be larger than 4 millimeters. This will be the upper threshold for size. I will click OK and apply and close. Now I also want to create additional uh, finer uh, mesh for billet so that we can resolve the skin depth inside the billet. I will click on mesh 1 that we created before. Then I will click on create a sub mesh button. Here I will specify algorithm Nijin 1D, 2D, 3D. And for hypothesis, I will again choose parameters. For maximum size in any element within a billet, I will select 8 millimeters. For minimum size, we can safely use 0. So here, instead of moderate fineness, I will choose custom. And for number of segments per radius, I will select 12. Later, I will describe what this 12 means. I click OK and apply and close. Uh -huh. So here, Salome says that we forgot to specify geometry for which we want to create this submesh. So I click OK. Now, click here in this empty field and select billet. So you see that billet now appears as a geometry. Now we can again click apply and close and Salome allows to do that. And now let's create a submesh. For billet, I right click on submesh1 and click on compute submesh. So you see that uh, mesh for billet consists of almost 41,000 tetrahedrons. It has no hexahedrons, pyramids, or any other elements. I close this window. We can take a closer look on our mesh. So you see that we have finer mesh on the surface of this billet where most of induced heat, uh, gel heating will be. And we have coarser mesh in the middle of our billet. Now we also want to create computational mesh for remaining inductor and air domains. So I right click on mesh and click on compute button. This will take some time. So our mesh was created. It has more than 213,000 tetrahedrons. That's good for coarse mesh. Of course, if you want to, to do uh, simulations with higher precision, you have to use more elements. Uh, we can clip our mesh to see what's inside. I select here new and absolute cut plane. For direction, I will specify direction vector in y direction, apply and close. So now let's rotate our mesh. You see that we have very fine mesh on the surface of billet, finer mesh on inductor, and very coarse mesh everywhere else where we are not such interested in higher precision. So now is very important step. We have to add geometry groups to this mesh so that CNS knows exactly names for every boundary and domain. 
So make sure that mesh is selected. Then go to Mesh. Create groups from geometry. So here, from geometry model, from partition, which we used for mesh generation, I hold my left mouse button and drag it to the bottom and select all geometry groups except the last one because the last one was used only for mesh generation. I click apply and close and you see that uh, those groups were added. If you, for example, disable this mesh and click on any of those groups, mesh groups here, you see that meshes for each individual mesh group appears. So we have a very coarse inductor, very fine billet. That will be enough for or low frequency inductive heating uh, problem. So in this tutorial, we created a mesh. Now we want just only export it to CNS. Aha, as you can see, I forgot to select the mesh. I select the mesh, go to tools, plugins, mesh to CNS. And now we will wait for mesh to be exported to CNS. And in the next tutorial, we will talk about how to set up our inductive heating problem and solve it.